For this problem, the first thing to understand is what method we're going to be using to solve this problem. And here's a big hint. When all three match, you're going to continue, and when odd man out, you're going to stop. This is what I call a stop condition. And when you see a stop condition, the best method is going to be tree diagram. And if you don't understand the basics of the tree diagram, please go visit the lectures, and I'll be going through it expecting that you understand all the basics, at least. Okay, so here I'm going to start the tree diagram. And the next tricky part is really how to split up the branches. And there are really a, uh, a number of ways to do it. You can go, say, head, 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 tail, head, 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 tail, so on and so forth. But this is not going to be the best because we're we're wanting to see when it continue and when it stop. And as far as we're concerned, this is this is this is odd man out, and you stop. So we don't care about the difference between these two. And say when you have tail, 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 this continues and this continues, and we don't really care about which one is which. In effect, these, these, there are going to be six here, and these six are going to stop, and these two are going to continue. So instead, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simply separate them into two, which is continue and stop. Continue consists of the outcomes head, 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 and tail, tail, tail. Stop consists of the rest, which is two head, one tail, and two tail, one head. Now to know the probability for each of these branch, we just have to add up the probability for all of these individual elements of each of the outcomes. For head, 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 that's simply going to be one half times one half times one half, so it's one eighth and for tail as well. Two head and one tail, that's going to be solved using a Bernoulli. And I'm not going to go into detail here. This is going to be 3 eighths, and this is also going to be 3 eighths. And if you don't understand how this is done, you can go check out the Bernoulli and how that works. Or you can actually just understand that if you, if you know this is 1 eighth, you know this is one eighth. You know this is one fourth, and the rest is going to be three fourths. So here now you got the probabilities for these, and then you can just keep going with the tree. Here on stop we're going to stop, of course. Continue we're going to continue, and then again we can continue, or we can stop. Of course it's going to be one fourth, three fourth again, and then here one fourth, three fourth. Continue and stop. And this is going to be an infinite tree, but we don't we don't actually have to worry about everything after this. So now we can actually look at the questions. So he asks for probability of more than once. If you look at the tree, the part that represents more than once is over here. And here I vertically separate out, here's, here's one toss, here's two toss, here's three toss, and so on. So this is more than one toss. And we can add up all these probabilities, but that's actually kind of impossible, because you have to add infinite number of times. The other way to do it is to do the complement, which is taking one minus the probability that you do only once. So 1 minus 3 fourths come out to 1 fourth. Here for the probability of at most twice, at most twice now we're actually looking at this chunk right here. Because if you start that most twice meaning stopping after once or stopping after twice. If you go anything over here, that's more than twice. 
So now we simply add up the probabilities here. The first event is going to be just just doing once and stop, and that's three fourths. And then next is going to continue and then going to stop. And for tree diagram, we just multiply across for the probabilities in the event. So here we're going to be doing one fourth times three fourths. This is going to be three sixteen. This is going to be twelve sixteen. Add up to fifteen sixteen. That's your final answer.